yeah. the existence. They believe yeah. it's a blind but faith. Now, look, I, I see your reasoning, but let's see if your reasoning will be valid at its conclusion, James. Follow this through. Why are you saying? Right, because you, Why? <laughs> if I'm wrong, if I am what? wrong, I can understand what being Absolutely, of course. Well, God yeah. created me unable to answer this Not question at all. fairly. Not at all. Look, if you are going to have pre dis uh, uh, rather I say, if you are going to have biases to your inquiry, you are not going to find the necessary answers. Now, I'm not saying you personally. Do I know that? But right. If I have biases, excellent, do I know they are? Excellent I question. Don't know they are. And who is the one who potentially can answer that question? In theory, only God. Excellent. Let's start with the theoretical premise. Okay. Now, consider this. For any man to confidently assert that they, he, she has done all the necessary research to establish the theoretical existence of the Creator, would logically need to have investigated every conceivable phenomenon that is within the universe to arrive at a conclusion. Is that not logically, theoretically, the conclusion one would achieve? By those limits, but in practice, knowing that you... Limited. You know, I know that Excellent. human beings are in all sorts of limitations in... You, Superb. You Muslims could all be far more intelligent yeah. than I am as an atheist. I okay. don't doubt it. But Sorry, what did I, you just say? I, I, <laughs> I heard I, that. I might be yeah. the only honest one that okay. has asked myself Excellent. again, yeah, and yeah, again, yeah. And again yeah, the question of the existence I of agree. God. And I thought, no, no, I do not believe it. But here is the logic which I started with, uh, James. Yeah. Is it not theoretically, if, and what I am saying, no one can deny, yeah, on a reasonable premise. If one is going to stand and confidently assert there is no creator after having duly considered all the evidence, that evidence will have to, by definition, include every conceivable phenomenon. We know as human beings that is impossible. Yeah. By definition, possible. Possible. it will be impossible. Yeah. However, theoretically, or at least on the theoretical plane, would we also say the same of a creator who by definition created everything and would be totally aware of everything. Which one is more logical? The idea of the all-knowing creator now, is more absolutely. logical. Now, if that be the but case, we, if I can just finish, if sorry. that be the case, not at all, James. If that be the case, then it becomes incumbent on the human being to try and verify for oneself whether there is potentially a creator who fits the criteria that we just discussed. I would suggest to you the answer is a definitive yes, and that is contained in the Quran. Now, for you, it's very easy to dismiss, and I will tell you how. Actually, engage with the Quran, and I can assure you, James, if you are as open as you have always been, I can guarantee you the very crucial questions which sometimes you are unable to, you know, how can we say, put into words, the Creator will be fully aware and will answer those questions. You cannot get it any easier, logical or reasonable, more so than what I just said. And I'm not beating any horn or anything. Genuinely, should I tell you why? I will also tell you why. Contrary to what a lot of people do believe, and as you rightly pointed out, many people way, uh, grow up believing everything about what their parents told them about God. Yeah. I was not one of them. I was actually the opposite. Yeah. I tell you what I can remember though, at the age of six, somebody asked me, are you Muslim? And I turned around and said, yes. I mean, at that age, we only take on what we were yeah, told. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But in the teenage years and onward, I came to realize that something is not entirely right here. You know, questions suddenly started coming about, why am I here? What is all this? Okay? And the exercise I undertook. Okay? And it was all evidence-based. But then came the crucial element where 
the evidence was meeting and fitting with the way my psyche was actually operating. And genuinely, and I say this sincerely, I, I did go through all the books, the major religious books. I use the word religious in the context of the way it's commonly understood. I'm uncomfortable with the word, yeah? I took that on myself. And I can tell you sincerely, the Quran actually tells us to challenge it. So I decided to challenge it. But like I said to you, uh, James, the challenge is not about asking, you know, what I consider to be these funny questions. Oh, was it this? Was... No, actual the essence of me as a human being and how my psychology was operating and the kind of questions which I couldn't articulate for fear of offending potentially or having myself psychologically assessed as it were. But when I did that with the Quran, every question that I was thinking of and even questions which I hadn't actually thought of were being answered. So the, the, the issue I would say to you is this, look, I'm open about this, uh, Jay. Engage with the Quran and I can guarantee you on an intellectual level the questions you have, the questions which you may even think of having will be answered. I have one challenge to <laughs> You have one? You, you're yes. telling me the answers I'm seeking are in, contained in the Quran. Yes. The word of... Yes. You know. No, no, no. Not as a word. The information okay. first. Let's deal with now. it as evidence. And that evidence will as, lead you to the conclusion. As a skeptic and a cynic, I could quite honestly... I'm not reading I understand. the Quran. No, the Quran is a work of man. It's not. I could Excellent. honestly. Yeah. I'm not going as near a the Quran or the Bible. Are you saying you would say that as a skeptic? As a doubter. As a right. Excellent. Now tell me, which one is more reasonable to you? Sorry, brother. I'm going to use you as an example. Yeah. If this gentleman here makes a claim. Yeah. And we consider it we consider it to be an outrageous claim. What is the more reasonable thing to do? Dismiss his claim? Or, investigate or his claim. Which one would be better? Uh, investigating now, the claim you, is more reasonable. <laughs> now here it is, James. All the boxes you are ticking, but there seems to be an unconscious fear. What is that fear? I don't honestly know if I'd describe it as a fear. I okay, is it I, a worry? I don't fear reading the Quran. Is it a worry? No, it's, I'm trying to find a reasonable point of principle to make. My refusing to read the Quran is based on the fact I know books are written by, all books are written by people, man. Why should <laughs> the Quran be any different? I'll tell you, I'll tell you, it's a good question. You know the example I just gave about him? Yeah, yeah. Make the claim. Now this is odd. You know, a lot of people will tell you, why do you believe the Quran to be the word of God? Because the Quran says so. That's a circular That's argument. Circular. Right. But I want you to take it a bit further. The Quran doesn't say it is the word of God. The Quran is telling you, I am making a claim. I am what I am saying. I want you to investigate me and Slide prove whether the claim is... Right. Now tell me, on a reasonable basis, I cannot see any reasonable, sound human being telling me confidently they will not investigate the claim. Now it's fair, isn't it? So I am saying a lot of people misunderstand and they just run with it. Run with it. But I can tell you, Apps, the cameras are running. I can tell you with a hundred percent confidence, and that's very rare for me to use hundred <laughs> percent. I can give you a hundred percent confidence that if you engage with the Quran, you will find the answers you seek. You can't get it better than that, no. surely, James. No. Now it is incumbent on you to take up the challenge, and you will do that, won't you? I have a Quran. I shall read it. I promise. You are a star. Excellent. <laughs> and when we meet again, James. <laughs> no, 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 that is, no. <laughs> if I read the Quran honestly, yes. as a, as you I will find the answer. 
that's why if I dismiss what I find, what I don't, that I don't understand. I'll tell you. Reading. If you dismiss it, you will come back to me and tell me I dismissed it because of X, Y, and Z, and we will investigate it. Okay. Isn't that reasonable? That sounds reasonable as well. <laughs> Look after yourself, James. Take care. Take care. God bless.